Hi everyone, it's Barbara Teckel. Happy solstice, winter solstice to everyone here in the Northern Hemisphere. And I thought I would take some time today to do an oracle reading for all of us. And um, I would encourage you to um, do a reading for yourself as well. And the three questions that um, I did the oracle reading for today are, what do we need to release as a collective? What it is we need to release? And the next question is, who do we need to become? Who do we as a collective need to become? And then also, the other question is, who do we need to, or I'm sorry, what do we need to remember? And then the final card that I pulled um, is an, a spirit animal card to help guide us um, as we learn to release and learn to become and um, and what we need to remember. That's right. So I pulled the cards ahead of time. So I want to share that with you today. And the first question is, what do we need to release? And the card that I pulled, and this is, I'm working with the Wisdom of the Oracle. I don't have the box here, but here's the book. Wisdom of the Oracle. And then the Spirit Animal Oracle deck is the animal that I pulled from this deck. So, soulmates, what do we need to release? And the card I pulled is soulmates, number 41. So, soulmates, this card is all about harmonious, par harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, and a relationship fostering personal growth. Now, remember I asked, what is, what is it that we need to release? So... Being that this is soulmates and is about relationships, and what we need to release is, um, I see this card as asking us to let go of people in our lives that may no longer um, serve us. You know, this is normal and natural in life. But sometimes we have this fear of letting go because we may not want to disappoint others, and we don't want to hurt somebody else's feelings. But if we can let go without judgment and just be grateful for what that person brought into our lives, this is really true growth. And this is something I continue to grow in as well. So you aren't alone if you are if you have fear of letting go. Um, I experience the same thing at times too. But by letting a go, by letting go, we allow um, more space and energy to open in our lives so that new people. Can come into our lives and more often than not those new people are going to help us on the next leg of our journey so that's really important to remember and you know every person past present and future you know has helped us along the way of our life's journey and as that say, saying goes some come for a lifetime and some stay for a season so that is soulmates number 41 so the next card for the next question is, who do we need to become? Who do we need to become as a collective? And the card that I chose, I actually picked it in reverse. And in this deck, it, um, it means uh, protection, which is just an extra nudge from spirit to pay attention um, to, the, to the meaning of this card. But I'm going to turn it up right so you can see it which is number 43. Again, it's deep knowing. Look at the wise owl on the moon. Oh, I love that. I'm just connecting that with the winter solstice and we're coming up on the full moon um, tomorrow. I believe it is tomorrow is the full moon. So this card is all about intuition, listening to the oracle within, um, empathy and hypersensitivity. So picking this card in relationship to the first card of soulmates, I see this card as asking us to step more fully into the intuitive part of ourselves and learn to trust that more. I am definitely myself a work in progress on this. Um, we are each really so wise, but yet because of our cultural beliefs, perhaps, you know, social media, we get caught up in this big vicious circle of comparing ourselves to others, right? And then we lose touch with what we truly know um, what is good for each of us. And this card is asking us to begin to be in touch with that deep knowing part of ourselves in order that we may bring a more deeper, uh, meaningful and fulfilling 
um, sense into our lives to help us move forward, right? So this is going to be a, a benefit to each of us individually. And when each of us tap into our own deeper knowing, that of course affects those around us and our community and the world at large. And I really love the line, this line in the guidebook that stood out for me. And I think really goes hand in hand with the soulmates card. And it says, it's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life, anyone in your life who exhausts you. And this is really true because if we're exhausted, we can't possibly become, you know, more of who we're meant to be, right? So what do we need to remember? That is the last question I ask. What it is we need, what is it we need to remember? And the card that presented itself is exchanging gifts, which is number 27. Again, this one was, is, was in reverse. And when it's in protection, it's just an extra nudge from spirit. It's nothing to have fear about. It's just um, a little extra protection as you do this important work that the cards are asking us to do. So exchanging gifts is all about the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. So just as soulmates indicated, I see this card as telling us, or as being an affirmation, I just should say, that when we let go of relationships or people that have you know, served for a purpose in our life and a season for our lives, even though that can be really difficult to do, what we don't always necessarily think of that by letting go, we may be doing them a favor and in turn giving them a gift to move on to new relationships for what they need to learn in their lives. Um, and then we get to experience the same as well. And there's nothing wrong with letting go as long as we can do it without judgment. And I think that's the key and that is the challenge and that's where a lot of us struggle. And I know, I know personally for myself, this isn't always easy. But, but again, if we can each, um, you know, let go of what no longer serves us so that we can become who we're meant to be, um, sometimes it's necessary to, to let go of other relationships. And I can definitely, definitely, like I said, in my own life, this hasn't always been easy for me either. And I didn't always understand. And it was hard and it was difficult. And sometimes I struggled, but when I look back on some of those relationships, I can see why some are still here with me in my life and why um, some we have uh, parted ways and moved on. And it's all good. It's all good. So again, there is a gift in every person that comes into our lives, whether they stay for a lifetime or just for a season. And if we can remember this and we can, you know, try and let go of control and surrender, then more peace can reside within all of our hearts. So lastly, I asked what spirit animal is going to guide us um, this winter solstice as we learn to let go and allow new relationships and friendships and growth to come into our lives. And this couldn't have been a more perfect card. And it is Moth Spirit. Number 39, Surrender Now. Oh, so I am actually going to read from the guidebook because I thought the message in the guidebook was so beautiful and so perfect to sum up this reading. So Moth Spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that has become a compulsion or addiction? Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Hard work and dedication are virtues. And love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when moth spirit appears, it's time to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certainty, or even to a person, may be your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it more than one, channeling it in more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you do and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all other pursuits that matter to you. Now is a time for surrender and radical acceptance. So that your 
drive does not cause you to flee or fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. Really, again, I don't think we could have had a more perfect animal to help reflect on this winter solstice and to, you know, uh, Moth Spirit is asking us to surrender. And I'm sure you've all experienced that in your life a, a time or two, that when you have surrendered and you just allow whatever is supposed to unfold, you know, in relationships or whatever situation it is that you might be having a challenge with, that when you surrender and you say, I'm not in control, and you just get in touch with that higher spirit and the divine, peace does come into your heart. I know I've definitely experienced that myself, so I know it works. I know it works. So I hope you enjoyed this winter solstice reading. If you are interested in a personal reading um, with me, an Oracle Guidance session, I'd be more than happy to, um, to, to do that with you as well. So feel free to check out my website at barbateckle.com. So I wish you a happy winter solstice, um, happy holidays, and a beautiful new year. Take good care. Bye for now.